There we go. What's the school, my J-Rock star? J-Rock X back in the building. You already know, son. Today, we're going to jump back into this Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, last time, we beat this guy that was pretending that he was uh, Merrick. He was taking the, the voice of Merrick. And then um, Joey beat him. Like, this huge ray of light came from the sky because he tried to use a fake Egyptian god card or something. And uh, he wanted to turn good. And then you see Merrick right there. And Merrick has become true Merrick or Yami Merrick, I guess you can say. The next duel was Maya versus the real Merrick. Maya gave everything she had, but Merrick was too powerful. With the power of his Millennium Staff, Merrick trapped Maya's mind into the Shadow Realm. Your friend made a costly mistake by dueling against me, and now I'm afraid she's playing the ultimate price. Notice her emotionless appearance. I believe it, that's because her mind was trapped. This dude is crazy. I wish I could have like kept up his crazy ass face just for a little bit longer so y'all could have seen that. Um, 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 um. Which each patch in seconds she forgets more. The shadows are taking the shadows are taking everything, everything she kept inside her mind and inside her heart. Trapped by the dark magic, my friends could do nothing to help her. Right. All right, you geeks. Clear the field for the next duel. See, Kaiba, Kaiba gives no fucks. He just he just really cares nothing about anything. And Kaiba has to face a situ, I think. Uh, this is quite a surprise. Yes, we meet again, Seto Kaiba. Oh, that's right. She was the one that gave him um, Obelis the Tormentor, right? So you've come to win back, win back Obelis. Because I've come for a greater... Wait, what? What I've come for is is of greater importance. I come here to save my brother. Brother? Merrick is her brother, that's right. Um, if you remember, my Millennium Necklace has the power to show, show me events that are yet to come. And right now, it tells me you will lose this duel to me. Well, that's not true. Enough with the Millennium items. I don't believe in that nonsense. I'm planning... I plan this with one goal in mind, to reclaim my place as the number one duelist in the world. Have you forgotten that have you forgotten that it was my idea for you to obtain for you to organize the Battle City tournament to lure duelists like Merrick? And my plan worked, for my brother is here. Because of the hardest because the hardest task is yet to come, the evil within him be, must be stopped. Like I said, Kaiba really just gives no fucks. All right, so we're gonna jump in here. We use the story deck. I think Kaiba has the XYZ deck right now. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna pick Rock. Oh, Rock failed me. And she wants to go first, okay. So I guess we'll go in second. I don't know what it is about Yu-Gi-Oh. I really like just going first. I like to set up my defense. <clears throat> How I get Obelisk the Tormentor on the first draw? Graceful Charity. Send two cards. Woo! We got a soul in Steve. Oh, sorry. Sorry for yawning. Add one level five or high on normal monster from your hand, from your deck to your hand. And we got the Lord of Dragon right there. Obviously, the Tormentor requires three tributes to Normal Summon. This card's Normal Summon cannot be negated. When Normal Summon cards and effects cannot be activated, cannot cannot be targeted by spell, trap, or card effect. During the end phase, if this card was special summoned, send it to the graveyard. You can tribute two monsters, destroy all monsters that your opponent controls. This cannot this cannot declare an attack. The turn that this is activated. Huh. Okay. Like I said, I've never used all this in Tormentor, so I wouldn't know. What is this? Is this Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon? Yep. Sure. Alright. Um, that gadget soldier really serves me like no purpose. So let's bring one of the Blue Eyes to our deck, um, uh, from our deck to our hand, I guess. Bring the Lord of Dragon to the field, or Lord of D. We, we all know he's the Lord of Dragon. But, yeah. No, we're all oh, Lord. That shrink card, that's that's gonna be bothering me. It's gonna be bothering me. 
All right, so we're gonna attack her. And she didn't flip any of her face down cards, so there's no telling what the hell they are. Another graceful cherry? What are you searching for? I was born a monster. This card gains 200 attacks to each fairy monster in your graveyard. Oh, shit. Well, that's not a good thing. Alright, let me see. During the main phase. During your main phase, by discarding this card, add up to two Thunder Dragons from your deck to your hand. How many Thunder Dragons do you have in your deck? <coughs> no! Uh. Oh shit, it just asked me did I want to add another one and I just said no. See man, that's the only thing about quick spell cards man, is that they always are constantly asking you questions. They're constantly asking you do you want to activate it and it makes it hard because you just want to skip past all this other BS. Alright, so we're going to summon one of the Thunder Dragons. I, I meant to bring both of them to my hand, but obviously that didn't work just now. So we brought one Thunder Dragon to the field. And we cannot attack this turn that we do that we use um soul exchange. I wonder, can I just use soul next time I'm gonna try if I ever get the chance, I'm gonna try and use soul exchange um after after um like on, on the second phase, mini phase. If I have the opportunity, I'm gonna try and do that to see if it see if it still works. I don't think it says you have to do it on your. I don't think it says you have to do it on your main phase. You can only bring your deck to the turn to activate this card. So it might not allow you to do it. That's the only reason why I was saying that. Oh my goodness, that is so annoying. Silent Doom. Target one normal monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Face up defense mode. It cannot attack. Now, does it mean it can attack this turn, or it can attack, period? I don't have any normal monsters in my graveyard, so I have Lord Dragon and the other Thunder Dragon. That, unfortunately, was a waste. And it still can't attack this turn anyway, because, like, Sword of the Real Light is up. Alright, so that works. Mm. Oh, God. What is that right there? Oh my god, I hate that one fairy type monster. Why didn't it ask me about activating shrink? Ask me any other time about activating the card except for that. It's a pain in the ass, I'll tell you what. Alright, let me read this card. If this card is special summon from the graveyard, it gains the following effect. If this card attacks your defense position, it okay, it inflicts piercing damage. Okay. But it wasn't special summon, it was tribute summon. And in this card, um, any monster attacks it, you know, it, it returns to his hand. Yeah, that's that's really good. Long well, so short. Uh, target one card in your graveyard, shuffle that target into your deck. Shrink down on the field. I'm gonna end my turn. So the real light is finally over with. No. 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 Yes. Oh, okay, it does work that way. Shrink on you. No. Oh, and it can be any card. It doesn't just have to be that card. It I mean, what? It doesn't have to be a monster. Yeah, let me get, let me put Summoner's Art back in my deck, maybe. Yep, that's it. Freaking sweet. Now, does Shrink stay that way, or is it just to the end of the 
upgrades. It's just to the end. Yeah, just an end date. So let us. What? Stop listening. Stop listening. I don't, I don't understand why it does that. I didn't say anything with, with the word of its name. I'm not gonna say it right now, because watch it over. And it'll, uh, I'm trying to say something. So I need to get rid of that fairy monster. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm gonna sacrifice that. Plus this, that's a good card. That's a good, oh um, shit. What's it called? <clears throat> if I didn't make another dark deck, I would definitely put that in there. Graceful Charity. What are you looking for? That's three Graceful Charities. Normally you have all these Graceful Charities, you're, you're not just, just trying to draw cards. You're trying to look for something. So what are you looking for? It should see. Okay, so I found one of my paralyzations. Paralyzations. That's a paralyzation. <laughs> I can't attack. I don't even know why I did that. Okay. I mean, she has two sort of yellow lights so far. She's got to be looking for something inside this deck. Or maybe she's just looking for the move or the main theme of her deck. I'm trying to get that out. Why don't you put that back in the attack room? Alright, there's the second blue eyes. Defenses are up now. What's this do? It just special summons them to the field. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use this just yet. Okay. All right. Okay. Now you put the card in defense mode. What was the purpose of putting it in attack mode though? Like there had to have been. There had to have been a reason why you did that. Let's use ancient ruins so we can bring. Our second blue eyes to the field. Let's just start attack. Oh my god, shrink is gonna get on my nerves. Let's go, blue eyes, white dragon, white lightning. My second blue eyes, white lightning. Damn it! Okay, though it is okay at least it doesn't destroy it or what's that or like the dd assassin where it um removes it from play or anything like that all i really need to do is just draw the next blue eyes oh never mind oh my goodness i could do this right now give me that No! I almost, I almost double clicked A just so that it would um, get rid of the damn asking me about this. So I could summon Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon right now if I wanted to. I'm not going to yet. Flip, draw a card. She's looking for something in this deck. I just don't know what the hell it is. Why do you like me? I really like that animation. I don't think I don't understand about it is why after you shoot the attack, you have to show the animation of him rising up. <laughs> that part doesn't make any sense to me. What the hell is that? Hold well, on, I just want to see what it says first. Kaiser Blyer. Cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster that has the same attack. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, target one monster on the field. Return that monster to its hand. Huh. That's kind of cool. I have no use for it, but it's kind of it's cool. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, 
and see, there's um, hold on, let me show you guys something. This is the reason why I haven't really summoned it, uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate yet, because of this card right here. She probably has three of those in her deck, and so far there's two in the graveyard. I'm, I'm more than positive she has a third one, and I don't want to risk the biscuit and bring that thing, uh, have it send my Blue Eyes Ultimate to my, um, back to my deck. What is that? Yeah, I see the whole ascending afterwards. I just don't understand that part. What is this card here? I've seen it before. When a monster is tribute summoned by tributing this card, the owner gains 2,000 life points. Well, that's all three of those, right? One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. She doesn't have that anymore. I'm sure she has that other card, though. I'm sure she has it. No, don't you dare. Still the battle, Set in one card, so I don't have to throw a card in the graveyard. All right, here we go. Still going. Oh, goodness. These battles are taking longer and longer. And maybe it's just because sometimes I overthink. <laughs> overthink things. Yes! Give me this card. Put this thing out there. Next turn, Blue Eyes Ultimate. Call it. Be the card that I want you to be. Oh, that's not the card. Um. Um. What? It seemed like that helped me more than it didn't you. When this card is destroyed and sent from the graveyard and sent to the graveyard as a result of battle, select two cards from your opponent's graveyard, add them to your opponent's deck, and then shuffle the deck. Why why would you have that card? That seems that seems more like it would be helping me than, than hurting you. Yep, in my turn. I was gonna attempt to bring Abbas the Tormentor to the field, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, I didn't end my turn. Now I ended my turn. Yeah, I was gonna try and bring Abbas the Tormentor to the field, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Maybe I'll do a video where you just get to see Abbas the Tormentor's animation for me bringing him to the field. Aw, oh, damn. I could bring him to the field right now. Hold on. No. Have a way of bringing Albus to Torment into the field. Oh, so Come on, be the card that I want you to be. No, that's not the card. That I want you to be. One lightning! Are you ready? I might, I might just get greedy. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I might just get greedy. Oh no, wait, I can't bring Officer Tormentor to the field that way. Never mind. Let's just put that one more face down card. Yo, do you really have three of these in your deck? Why? What do you have three for? Three, you bastard. <gasps> I could. I could do it. I, I, oh my god. I don't want to do it, man. I don't want to get greedy. I really don't want to be greedy. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna get greedy on this last turn. It's probably all getting ready to just blow up in my face right now. So we're gonna summon Blue Eyes Ultimate to the field. Oh my god, I'm getting so greedy right now. And using polymerization isn't a regular summoning for your turn. Blue Eyes Ultimate. This is so greedy. This is so greedy. I'm gonna use Silent Doom to bring one of my blue eyes back to the field. Alright, here we go. <laughs> this is so greedy. Nothing that can negate this summoning, though. I remember that. I remember it saying that. And I think it also said that trap, no trap can be used against it either. Yo! <laughs> I'm so greedy right now. Damn! <laughs> you know, I was so greedy for that. Oh my goodness. I was so greedy to do that, man. Victory is mine. Very impressive, Kaiba. You managed to overcome the fate that my Millennium Necklace showed me. 
I won this duel for the same reason I win the tournament. My superior skills and intelligence, perhaps. But you've taught me a valuable lesson about the, na the, na the, the nature of destiny. I couldn't speak that for some reason. And for that, I am grateful. I may have lost the duel, but in the process, I have gained something, something of far greater importance. The realization that if I am to win this battle with for my brother's spirit, I will need your help, Kyla. Thank you, for I know you will win. You will, you will help me save my brother. Huh, believe whatever you want. Believe whatever you need to, since you. But I'm only in this for myself. Why you gotta be such a faggot? Wow. Those cards suck. I actually, I don't know what those other two do. Alright. The duel that everyone loves. Yugi versus Kyle. More and more fell to Merrick's power. Power of Merrick. Merrick dueled. What? Meryl dueled Bakora for his Millennium Ring in one? I don't remember that. It is now the time for the semifinals. The first match of the semifinals was Joey versus Merrick. Merrick's power. Power was so great that the Winged Dragon of Ra sent Joey to the hospital. God damn. It seems, <laughs> it seems that nothing could stop Merrick's. The second. <coughs> Did the audio just cut out? I think the audio might have just cut out. Sorry about that. That just happened. The, semi, the second semifinal would determine who would face off Merrick. It was Yugi versus Kaiba, fighting for the first time since their battle in Duelist Kingdom. Yugi, we mustn't let Joey struggle. Joey's struggle interfere interfere with our Wait, 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 what? Let me start that over. Yugi, we mustn't we mustn't let Joey's struggle interfere with our consen concentration. Remember in order remember in order to overcome Merrick, we must get past Kylo. Well, well, Yugi. You decided to show up after all. Of course. To miss this duel is to deny my destiny. Spare me the drama. You know, Kaiba just really doesn't give any fucks. He really just doesn't. Like, I don't know if Kaiba ever, like, really realized, like, what was going on. You know, like, with the whole Pharaoh's tale and everything like that. Because I don't even think, when he saw, like, the picture of himself and the Pharaoh, like, you know, on, like, the, the hieroglyph uh, hieroglyphic tablets... That I don't even think that he like got it then. Like I think he think as soon as soon as Sitsu just like drew it up there or something like that. Like I don't I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna get this duel going. We're gonna pick Rock. It's okay. It's alright. I'm not even upset. Because I'm about to whoop, whoop that ass. I'm about to whoop it. About to whoop it. Oh, it said I was going first. I was waiting for him. <laughs> I was literally waiting for him to make a move. This is a card I've never seen. <laughs> Before Soul Charge. Target any number of monsters in your graveyard. Special summon them, and if you do, you lose 1,000 life points for each special for each monster special summoned by this effect. You cannot conduct a battle phase the turn you activate this card. You can only activate one Soul Charge per turn. So what would be the purpose of me activating this card if I couldn't... Conduct the battle phase. I guess I could bring them to the field. That way I could just tribute some. Ow, my knee just cracked. Tribute summon them for something, I guess. I guess that's what that does. Okay. Reinforcements of the army. Let's see what we have. Oh, we have King's Knight. There's no one summon. Why you control You can special summon one Jack Knight from your deck. Oh, I remember that. Okay, I remember that. I do remember that. Okay, let me get King's Knight then. And they all uh, fuse together to make something, I believe. Let me check this this deck. Oh no, that's oh. No, okay, that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking something else. What is the effect of Dark Paladin? <laughs> Must be true, Mr. Fuser's summon can be few, right? During either player's turn, when a spell card is activated, you can discard you can discard one card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. This card must be face up on the field to activate. 
and to resolve this effect. This card gains 500 for each dragon type monster on the field or in either player's graveyard. Whoa. Damn. Well, let's go. All right. Um, that's all I'm going to do for right now. Ah, I should have put down magic by attachment. But yeah, that's all I'm going to do for right now. Come on, Kaiba. Show me what you got, B. Show me what you got, B. I love that card. I, I have that card in my in my original original water deck. I love that card right here. Uh no, we're not gonna get magic pads. Nope. Whoa! I did not pay attention. Should use magic pads. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I should use magic pads. I could have activated that right there. Hold on a second. Let me read this one. Oh, shit. Oh, it's okay. You said it inactivated. Any number in your graveyard. Special summon them. And if you do, you lose a thousand life. If you one, you cannot kill them. Down. Okay, so I can just bring them to the field and they can be on the field. That ain't bad. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can't do this, though. Shit. Um, do I want to bring out the swords? I kind of need something to defend myself with. I'm not going to. I'm going to hold off for one more turn. Just so I can see what he does. Now he has XYZ. Hold on, 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 hold on. You don't have enough either. And I don't know how much attack Jack Knife, Jack Snipe has. Do I want to risk this? Do I really want to risk this? I don't really think I want to take on the risk of it. <laughs> Magical hats. Take this card. Exchange! I remember that card. I remember I had a ho the sickest holographic looking exchange in like the world. Shit is fire. Alright, I'm gonna use defusion because I'm never gonna use this. Magic formula. Equip to a dark magician or a dark magician girl. You get into it when this card is sent to the, from the field to the graveyard. Damn, that's power. Wait, what? You should pay 1,000 life points, then target one level 7 or higher spell castle monster you control. This turn, only that monster can attack, and it must attack all monsters your opponent control. Each one. Oh, that's right. The effect of effect monsters destroyed by this. I don't think I'm ever going to use that card. I need that mirror force. I don't need that spell by the circle. Let me use that. Which is my defusion. And then differential wave motion. And then it shuffles them, right? Okay. <laughs> wow! How lucky are you? Well, my life points are saved for return. That's always a good thing. Alright, so let's do this. I can't conduct the battle phase, but I can bring both of these cards to the field. Oh, I can, and I can choose which way they stand, huh? That's good. Okay, let's put Beta Warrior in attack mode. I lose 2,000 life points. I can't conduct the battle phase, but I can bring King's Knight to the field. And because of King's Knight ability, I can get Jack's Knight out of my. Oh! So now the question is, does he have the heart to attack one of my cards? I could just set up the, mirror, the sword of the real life, but I'm not gonna do that. I wanna try and save it for when I actually need it. X can oh shit. should be a dick I so should be a dick and take that damn card I 
I mean, even if I even if I take it, there's nothing I can do with it right now, anyway. So I might as well just not worry about it. Um, but I should take it so he doesn't have, so that he can't use it. I'm gonna take you reborn the monster. Now my question is, I don't have a monster that's really like strong enough to do anything this turn, so now I'm gonna actually switch it. Damn. I am in a bad predicament. He put down the gamble. turn you can either target one X cannon what X head cannon you control equip this or unequip this okay all this card is equipped the equip monster gains that right the monster can only be equipped with one uni monster if the equipped monster will be destroyed by battle this card is destroyed instead all right so I think wait a minute hold on let me think about this for a second Where's, where's King's Knight? When this is normal summon. No, not special summon. Alright, so let's do this. Let's bring the Buster Blader to the field. I could have still used my sweet one there. So let's bring the Buster Blader to the field. Let's use Monster Reborn. Yeah, we gotta get rid of some of these monsters in this dude's field. And let's bring Jack's Knight. And you can't attack me, but I can attack you. So this. Get rid of that. Yep, do it again. I just want I wanted to pull you off the field. Here we go. I could have got more life points by attacking that, but wait a minute. He could bring out Obelisk right now. He's gonna bring out Blue Eyes. Put Blue Eyes in defense mode. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? All face up monsters on the field are changed to attack position. And their battle position cannot be changed. Set it for like no reason, pretty much. <laughs> like there's no, there was no point in him setting that card. Like I knew what the hell it was. So why did he set it? Well, I'm gonna use brain control so I can fucking take it. Whoa, what's that do? Tricky one face up. Oh my god, that was bad. Target one face up monster you control. Banish that target until the end phase. What happens after the end phase? Guess what? I'm gonna put that in there for us, that way I have it. And I'm gonna attack your life points. I'm gonna end my turn. It comes back out to the field. Wow! That sucks. That card came in clutch now. Yup. Yup! Kyber, you ain't summoning that obelisk. I'm not gonna let it. Slap the sky dragon. This card does me no fucking good. This card really does me like no good. Like, I don't have a deck that allows me just to draw cards. If I did, it'd be, it'd be great, but I don't. You have two slides for the sky- No, no, the game's just cheating. <laughs> the game is just cheating. Having two slime in the sky dragons. Come on now. Nice. I'm weeding him out though. I'm weeding him. 
him out. What's this card do again? Oh, that's right. Nothing that helps me out right now. Let's go. And it can only be Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl anyway. Magic formula. One more turn, Kaiba. You better have a defensive mon that you Oh shit. Defensive mon. Think about Pokemon. Not even not even talking about Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. Three Slife for the Sky Dragons! This is retarded. <laughs> oh, this is retarded. <laughs> This is so stupid. Three slice of the sky dragons in, in one deck, Yugi. Really? That's just that's just that's just ridiculous. Oh no. Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. You can't conduct the battle turn thing? This turn? No, that's right, you can't attack. Damn it, son. I was doing so good until I get her talking shit. Why isn't he attacking me? Fuck. Why aren't you attacking me? Hold on a second. If I bring... I bring an attack for each monster, each dragon type monster your opponent controls or is in their graveyard. So if I bring this back, I'm going to be stronger than Blue Eyes. I just want to make sure I'm reading that right. I believe I am reading that correctly. Please don't tell me that I was reading it wrong. Survey says I was reading it right. Let's go ahead. It's only a, a hundred, but it's fucking something. What's that? We're close. I don't want to jinx it, but we're close. Now he's just always going to find a card that he can win his attention with. But right, but it's still in that graveyard. Huge pot of green right there. I kind of want a card destruction just to see what I would get. Do it, let me see. Discard one spell, discard one spell card, then target one spell card in your opponent's graveyard and this card's effect was, was uh, effects resolution. Follow the target card text as if you were using it yourself. Double spell. So I could do this. Let's say I get rid of this. I just want to see. I, I'm getting a little greedy, but I, I just want to learn. I can special summon Slap of the Sky Dragon from the field, right? I know after you special summon it, it gets destroyed. Damn! Do you have a special, um, special animation? <laughs> yeah, boy! Yeah! Man, it took a whole lot longer than what I thought. You lose, Kaiba. I told you your hatred. Wait, what? I told you your hatred and your lust for power would never prevail. I did it, but my toughest battle was still ahead when I faced Merrick in the final duel. <laughs> you see Kaiba's face? He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'll take that. I will definitely take that. All right, guys, and the next duel is going to be Yugi versus Merrick. We already know. We can see. Um, I might break this up into two pieces just because it was just that long. I might not, honestly. I'd rather keep the two duels together. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like. Subscribe for some more because you know we're going to finish this thing. We're going to try and finish this thing by New Year's. Um, yeah, hopefully we finish it by New Year's. All right, everybody, take care. Be safe. Peace.